to move on to something lighter, David, um, another thing I did find interesting this week. What'd you find out? And it, it's definitely going to be a good one because I went on to watchmojo.com. Oh my God, those idiots. Those idiots. Um, and they had a list of the top 10 movies that will become classics in the future. I wanted to run this list by you and I want to know your opinions on whether you agree with this or not. I'm going to start with number 10, oh, which is Mad Max Fury Road is going to become a classic in the future. Now I'm going to read this list. You tell me which ones you agree with, which ones you are saying, no way, Jose. Uh, Mad Max at number 10. Number 9 is Birdman. Number 8 is Toy Story 3. Mm. 7, The Departed. 6, The Movie Up. 5, Inside Out. 4, Guardians of the Galaxy. 3, Avatar. 2, The Dark Knight. And 1, Inception. As you know, class to become a classic... There needs to be a certain amount of time that passes, as well as longevity of the movie. Whether the movie will be good 50 years from now, um, or whether it's just great because of its time. Now, the only movie that I disagree with here is Avatar. I feel a lot of that movie has to do with like it being a visual masterpiece. But other than that, man, um, in 50 years, the visuals of everything will be so amazing visually that Avatar will just kind of blend into the background but anyways that's the only really movie that i had uh, any critiques with man other than guardians of the galaxy but what do you think man any any movies that stand out here me is saying shut the fuck up <laughs> now um uh, i the think fuck? avatar definitely should be up there on there what the hell because it was like revolutionary it's kind of like yeah because is that the same reason technology it's the same reason why toy story oh was... you're stupid you're stupid toy story was a great movie though I had a lot of great themes in there, man. No, but one of the main reasons why it became successful, and I don't know if you ever read, dived into the history I did. of it. I did. I did. I, I did an assignment on it. Okay, but I basically, you know, read the Steve Nash, the Steve Nash, Steve Nash, because <laughs> you were bringing up the son, <laughs> the basketball um, player, Steve Jobs oh. biography, and when he, you know, Pixar was coming up, the, that was one of the newest technologies ever, like creating that type of dope animation that wasn't ever seen before so when they released that movie it was such a fucking new technology that no one has ever seen before and it's kind of like i think your argument for that is so stupid like oh just because in the future everything's gonna be so techno technologically advanced that everything's gonna have vis like amazing visuals yeah but it's like the same thing with nowadays today it's like we have so many dope animations but that doesn't make it any less like the original Toy Story any less than what it is compared to like the other movies that are dope visually. But I'm talking about Toy Story 3 in specific, not just Toy Story the original. Toy Story the original is a classic, no doubt about it. But they're saying Toy Story 3, the movie right. that almost made you cry. Yeah, I'm, I'm not saying Toy Story 3 isn't a classic. You're saying I'm Avatar. Saying, I'm saying Avatar is not a classic because overall it just, it was a generic movie about... Well, you to know, you, but to most people... There, it was amazing. Like, Visually. Like, I, no, I, I, I agree I, I with I like the storyline. You like the storyline? It's like, it's like me saying, well, I didn't really like Toy Story 3, this one. But Toy Story 3 almost made you cry. No, it, I'm telling you, I didn't really like it. Okay, well, that's... I'm just saying Avatar... I'm just, you're the only one out of, like, 7 billion people that didn't like Avatar. I didn't say I didn't like Avatar. I said it was great, but I'm just saying it, it... A lot of that had to do with the way it looked. Like, it looked awesome because of the... Like, of the effects and stuff like that. But other than that, I mean, it was pretty much Pocahontas. And I've seen that story before. So it wasn't like an, an well, incredibly... Well, just trying to bring up some type of whack-ass hoax. There, no, I'm saying, like, no credibility. I'm saying like Toy Story 3, original storyline. They departed. I never saw anything, a storyline like that. Like All these other movies that are on this list kind of have original storylines. But Avatar is the one that just feels bland because I've seen that before. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you're going to have recurring themes in all these other movies. But Avatar really pretty much stole... Beat for beat, Pocahontas. Like I don't, I don't understand oh, that. Uh, take us to the to the Pocahontas story plotline. Well, pretty much these outsiders invade this foreign no, land. No, tell us the steal. characters. Who? The characters of Pocahontas. No, I'm not talking about characters, bro. I'm talking about plot. No, but I'm telling you, can you bring up the characters, please? Uh, there's Pocahontas. There's John Smith, and then and it's pretty much just the Native Americans and the the freaking there's, there's, Spaniards. What's, I'm talking about the leader of the of the um, Indians. Indians, bro. Come on, let's let's not get go racial here. Let's call them Native Americans, man. They're not Indians. You you fucking racist. <laughs> no, man. I what's the leader? What's the leader's name? Dude, that's I don't. A, I saw that movie like three years ago. There's no way I'm gonna remember the leader's name. 
Let's just go ahead and call him Henry for all I care. I don't I don't give a damn, man. So now racist. How's that racist? How how's a Native American called Henry? All right, well, what would a Native 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 American be called? I don't know, but not Henry. Oh, so how do you know? You just said you don't know. Because I have Native American friends, and I don't know. Okay, like, so the, that, that, what? That, the, how that do you know that your name's not Henry? Because why can't I, their name be Henry? Is what I'm asking you. Like you're trying to be racist. No, I'm not. All right, so then what, how do you know that they they can't be well, named why Henry? Henry? Well, why not Henry? I don't get it. No, because I'm just saying. Like, is, is Henry not a generic name? It's like calling you Bob, and you're Mexican. So now you're saying my name has to be like Juan or Jose. No, I'm not saying it has to be. I'm not saying. No, that. you're saying it'd be freaking crazy if my name was Bob. No, I'm just saying it's not logical because logical. At the, at what the does time, logic have to do? Because at it, the man? time they're not. If you think about it, they're not really Native Americans, dude. Because it's back in the settlers' time. So how am I being racist by saying they're Indians? Because they are technically they're Native Indians. Americans. At the time, America wasn't even found. Well, pretty yeah. Well, at that time, the movie was made like in the nineteen seventies or some something like that, or nineteen eighties. No, but what I'm saying, the the movie like timeline. Well, at that point, it's 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 how they Native Americans when they're not America it, was well, it's stupid movie. to make that argument because at that point, what what the hell? It doesn't matter because we are in America now. So that's like saying forget forget everything you know and just like and then just what what would they call them? In the indigenous people or something like that because that we can call them that if you want but pretty much at this point i mean come on bro they're native americans because no at this point but what i'm saying is like is well, that, why am i supposed to go into that movie and be like oh well let's just forget america exists because at the time america wasn't there is what I'm but saying. Well, why does that matter because i thought we were talking about like that storyline well we are talking about that storyline and the, everything about the movie so what i'm saying is like it's kind of dumb to be like oh they're native americans when in that movie, they weren't actually Native Americans. Okay, but what does that have to do with anything? This is just... I don't even know what you're arguing you're trying to make. I'm just trying to well, say yeah, that well, Avatar was pretty much the plot of Pocahontas. So, it, not only does that make it unoriginal, but it also just kind of detracts from the movie and its classic status, or apparent classic status, to watch Mojo here. I'm just saying, Avatar is not going to be a class... I mean, I already forgot about that movie, to be honest. I, I, I forgot it existed. I just think um, either... Uh, um, what's that fucking shit? Inception. Inception is definitely a classic, man. I, I don't know. I will have to move it out and also Inside what? Out. Those are my choices. Oh, Inside Out. I can see that. Well, what about Upton? Is Up a classic to you? Um, because honestly, if I'm being honest, I don't I like know. That, I, 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 I like that I, opening scene. That's about it. it. Almost made me cry. And then that's about it. I mean, obviously, people are. Gonna I know be like, the, what? the the the, re- the characters were well, awesome. The, the reason the reason I kind of cool. still think it's cool. Uh, maybe I think I'll bring it out too, actually. Cause, but I don't want to say it's out because I didn't really watch the damn movie like full on out. I didn't finish watching the movie. And it kind of bored me out a little bit yeah. because of the old guy's character. What about Mad Max, man? I mean, this movie was... People considered this like the best of last year. I well, felt I, a little underwhelmed getting out of the theater for Mad Max. Maybe my expectations were so high. I thought it was good, man. I, I think it, it matched up with all the other Mad Maxes. From the trilogy, but I actually didn't watch the main one, which they say that it's the best. Oh, one. the second one. Yeah, so I, I had to actually watch it again, uh, or uh, or actually watch it. I would put the Big Short in there, man, because I just saw the Big Short recently. That movie was amazing, and I think the Big Short had. It was well, like, like you're just you're just a sensitive dude, bro. Like, uh, no, why? no, you're a little sensitive. Dude. If I was sensitive, I would probably put Titanic in here, but Titanic is already a classic, thank God. But let's see number 12, because Boyhood is number 12, and it didn't make the top 10. Do you have an issue with that? Um, No, I I like Boyhood, man. I think hey, it was but the... Should it be a classic? Yeah. All right, man. Well, there you have it, guys. Check out the top 10 list. I will link it on our Twitter account, so definitely follow us on the Level X Podcast Twitter account. Yeah, man. We'll, we'll see you guys next week. Hit us up on our Level X Podcast to let us know what you guys are reading. Um, And stay, stay healthy.